What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to be continuing on with our Swift UI tutorial series, and in this particular tutorial, we are going to be taking a look at how we can use a scroll view to make content in our apps scrollable. Now, the scroll view works exactly the same on every platform uh, that supports it. Um, now the way that you scroll is different based on your input method and all that kind of stuff. So like if you're on an iPad, um, or on an iPhone, then, you know, using your finger to scroll up and down or left to right, uh, is your primary way of scrolling. Um, if you're on Mac OS, then using your mouse or your trackpad to scroll up and down with uh, two fingers or your scroll wheel is your primary way of doing that. Um, if you're on Vision OS, of course, using your fingers while focusing on the scrollable content um, is your way of scrolling. Um, if you're on Watch OS, then the way you would scroll is obviously with the digital crown. Now, I want you to keep in mind that there are many, many, many different customizations that you can make to a scroll view. There used to not be so many ways that you could customize it, but they've, in, in recent years, including this year, they've made plenty of improvements to scroll view. Now, granted, granted, it does not compare to the sheer number of ways that you can customize uh, UI scroll view or NS scroll view, but it but it does have quite a few uh, features that that you that you are able to implement with those. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into how it is that we implement it. So in Xcode, right now I have our constants. Uh, with of colors and then I have a V stack with a for each inside of it and inside of that for each we're we're basically creating a bunch of rounded rectangles uh, that are 300 by 300 uh, and have a corner radius of 15 and our and their foreground style is sort of a gradient for of each color in our constants uh, colors array However, as it stands right now, it's not scrollable. So not everything is being shown on screen at the same time. And frankly, the V stack here is also an issue because um, if you have a certain number of views and stuff, it may uh, slow down your performance. So what what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna change this from V stack to lazy V stack. So now each view is lazily loaded, and it'll be uh, a little bit better of an experience if you have a large amount of uh, a large amount of views. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enclose this lazy V stack in a scroll view. So we want this we want this stack to be scrollable so we can actually see all of the all of our rounded rectangles. To to put this inside of a scroll view, we need to say capital S scroll capital V view. And if you want it to be vertical, you don't need to pass it a parameter. But the parameter that you pass it is whether you want it to be vertical or horizontal. I'm going to specify this parameter uh, just so we have it to be a little bit more explicit as to what we're doing. We want dot uh, vertical. That. All 
right. And we're going to close off that scroll view. And there we go. Now when we save this and we run our code, here's our code. You can see our uh, rounded rectangles are starting here. We can scroll now to see all of our rounded rectangles. Pretty neat. Now, how do we make this horizontal? Well, it's pretty simple, actually. We, ha we only have to make two changes. And the first change is the orientation of our scroll view. So where we have dot vertical, we can say, dot horizontal and then instead of lazy v stack we can say lazy h stack save run and here's our app now you can see our uh our our uh, rounded rectangles are now stacked horizontally and we can scroll horizontally to see all of our rounded rectangles. All right, pretty simple stuff, a pretty simple view. It's just, it's as simple as encapsulating your content that you want to be scrolled inside of a scroll view, specifying the specific axis that you want to use, and bada bing, bada boom, all your all your content within the scroll view is now scrollable. Now, if this was UI scroll view or NS scroll view, it would be a little bit more complicated, right? Um, so scroll view makes it super easy. Now there are, of course, like I mentioned, different ways that you can customize a scroll view uh, to fit your needs, but this is the most bare bones basic way to make your content scrollable. That pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you all so very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.